have to help him because he's going to close. Yeah, but we have to help you, so... Because he gives us lovely news. Hi, Joe. You've emailed already. Well done. Facebook, so everyone and my family are on board. I actually nearly cried. I was so upset. I was like, what? It's not happening. It's not happening. Well, I mean, the support is overwhelming. Yeah, too right. Yeah. It's like a community as well when you come in here. He knows everybody's name, he knows all the families. And um, I think that's what's so good about it. Well, it's, it's part of the community. Yeah, it's just seven, part of the community. It's such an asset, really, yeah, and we yeah. feel. And, and when we heard last week that uh, there was a possibility of a closing, we were really shocked and we feel that it would be such a loss to this, this, this whole community. Mm. Not just uh, we, we live. Uh, in Totteridge, but uh, I mean this whole area really. Mm -hmm. It's a one. It's just a wonderful, wonderful butchers. Mm -hmm. the service is very friendly. It's always very helpful. Always can ask Joe, what should I do with this? I'm not that knowledgeable about meat, so I just say this is what I want to do, and he helps me get what I want, and then we, you know, we just keep coming back. Um, I just think like there's nowhere else really that there's, uh, there's anything like it here, and I think it'd be very sad if this, this goes. And why do you come to the shop? Does he do the best sausages? Yes, the best sausages. <laughs> and the best mints. Yes, for your spaghetti bolognese. Can you say yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Why do you think we come here, Flory? We like the shop and Joe's always friendly. And what's your teacher's name? And is she nice? She, did she tell you off? So she told the boys off? Yeah, I thought so. You can cook it obviously on the hob, if you so wish from start, or in, in the oven if you feel that that's the route you want to take. I'll keep change, please. Oh, I, I can't think of any other shop anywhere in the country. I'd queue 10 minutes just to spend 10 quid, 20 quid, whatever. I can't think of any other shop uh, where in the run up to Christmas they get coffee, mince pies in the queue. The queue sometimes lasts an hour, an hour and a half. Carol's playing, brilliant. I can't think of any other shop, any other family that supports so many social and charitable events in the village. The Penn School for the Deaf, the super fun run that's raised more than a quarter of a million pounds over the last 30 years. Meat's a lot better than the supermarket. The first time I came out of the Christmas turkey, which was 100% better than the supermarket. Can you make it up? You've got one satisfied customer. <laughs> one, yeah, very satisfied. The village has got a real villagey community to it. How do we retain the village feel, feel to it? It's because of things like the middle school fight, the first school fight. All the charity events are happening at the football club, the fun run, Carol's on the Com, all of those things need help from people to run. Joe helps out every one of them, every single one, free of charge. He provides food, he provides his time, energy and enthusiasm. That's how you keep a village a village. Without people like Joe, you don't have a village feel, you don't have a community, you have a load of people living in the houses. But the village is just lose alone. The village would lose so much without Joe. It's about people. The world is about people. Joe's a good bloke. Pleasure. Nice see to you. see you soon. Oh, Bye. we'll put me all room for Christmas after next, please. <laughs> <laughs> I still got one from last year, you can have it. <laughs>